Hey everyone, this is Geek Cosmos, and here's how you can finish the new Resident Evil 2 one-shot demo in under five minutes. As you can see, as soon as the demo started, I ran to my right and interacted with the lever, and then with the shutter beside it to crawl through it. The game is going to play a cutscene there that you can and should skip if you want to save time. In the hallway that follows, simply walk down the path until you come across this toppled cupboard. Interact with it to push it aside, and then continue right on to the end. Jesus. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Go through this door into the office, and then interact with the shutter on the other side. The game is going to play another cutscene here that you can skip. Exit out of this item that the game displays on screen, and then simply wait for your first zombie to come crashing through the door. Try to aim for the head, hit him with a couple of shots, and once he's nice and incapacitated, run right through him or around him. You can ignore the zombie that comes crashing through the window, but you will have to fight these other two zombies that block your path back to the shutter. Once again, aim for the head, and once they topple over, run over them, and ride back to the shutter at the end. Interact with it, and the game will play two more cutscenes to introduce you to Lieutenant Marvin, these cutscenes are quite long, so you can and should skip them. Do not forget to add the knife to your inventory, though, because you are going to need it to open this electrical box and interact with the lever inside to open this shutter beside it. The shutter does take a while to open. You can use that time to pick up this extra ammo from the front desk in the main hall. There is another ammo box lying right on the other side of the shutter, along with a green herb that you can pick up if you were attacked by one of the zombies from earlier. Next, you simply continue down this linear path until you come across double doors that you can go through. No need to interact with any of the things that you come across here. There will be a zombie that comes crashing through a window. Once again, you can ignore this one as well. Past the double doors, simply run around the clutter in the center and interact with these taped up wooden boards on the other side and then with the window above them to drop down in an entirely new area. Over here, keep to the left. Avoid that zombie at the vending machine. There is going to be a zombie on the third landing that you're going to have to fight. Once again, aim for the head. Once he's down, Run around him or over him, and continue on up. Right at the top you will find a hole in the wall. Go through the hole and pick up this key on this desk on the other side, add it to your inventory, and then run right back down. If your first zombie is still alive, pop a few more shots into his head. Once he is nice and dead, continue on down. Unfortunately, you're going to have another fight on your hands, but at this point, you should feel quite comfortable taking out zombies. Run all the way back to the west office door, go through it, around the desks in the center, because there is a zombie on the other side of these desks, and to this door. Interact with the door, use the key that you picked up earlier, and then go through it. The game will play one last cutscene that you can skip if you want to, but you don't really need to here. And that is all there is to it. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, maybe even hit that subscribe button and that bell icon to be notified of my next upload. If you didn't, do leave a comment below letting me know how I can improve my content. And with that said, I will see you in the next one.